All right, good day everyone. For today's module, we'll be talking about Android and iOS architecture. So the discussion points here include the Android architecture and the iOS architecture. Right, so this will help us understand uh, the building blocks of each of the operating systems used in mobile um, in mobile devices, specifically smartphones, and then later on, we can associate it with the different security issues and controls that are in place. <clears throat> All right, let's go to the Android architecture. So, um, let's talk about the platform. Now, the Android software contains an open source Linux kernel that is used for the different flavors. I have a collection of a number of C and C++ libraries which are exposed to an application framework services. Okay, you have your Linux kernel as your um, core operating system functions for your smartphones. And then you will see this in a lot of the, the, the references and um, um, uh, s some of the important uh, reading materials and references that we will be having when we talk about Android. So this is what we call the Dalvik Virtual Machine or the DVM, which provides the platform for running an Android application. So it's always the Dalvik. Um, so the main components of an Android architecture, so you would see applications, application framework, Android runtime, platform libraries, and the Linux kernel. So it's similar to um, understanding operating systems where in the early years, it's starting for, from the one that the, the users uh, directly communicate with or interact with like the applications and then going further near the um, the core or in in, 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 in the um, in the stricter sense the, the functionalities that are not that cannot be directly accessed by the by the user okay? because of the important functionalities such as we call it kernel uh, functionalities um, very important that might destroy the operating system or you know alter the uh, important other important functionalities so we have the <clears throat> Android architecture so again you have your applications okay uh, these are some some of the applications under the applications layer um, and then application framework mostly um, the managers which we will discuss further and then android runtime and then you have your platform libraries and then the kernel now let's go to application so the top layer in the um, android architecture would be the applications so you have here your pre-installed applications such as your home contacts camera gallery and other um, third-party applications that you download from the play store such as the um, chat applications games and others so an example would be um, the apps that you see in the screen Right, so this is what we interact with and then we have the application framework when we say application framework it provides a several important classes which are used to create your application so these are supporting um, classes no? or supporting services provides the services with the help of which we can create a particular class and make that class helpful for the applications creation so it supports the applications that you are using so it includes different types of services such as activity manager right then notification manager view system package manager and others which are very helpful for the development of our application so they so it requires so for an application to run it requires the types of services under the application framework and also 
it's also connected to the application runtime. So when we talk about the third layer, which is application runtime, it, it contains you know, the, the, the um, components such as the core libraries and the DVM or the Dalvik. It also provides the base of for the application framework and powers the application with the help of the core libraries. So it supports so it supports the application through the core libraries. So you have your JVM, the Java Virtual Machine, the DVM. Okay. Um, the DVM is a register-based virtual machine specially designed and optimized for Android. So this is really for the Android operating system to ensure that a device can run multiple instances efficiently. And um, we, we can see this. So we, when we talk about um, instances, we talk about how many um, how many applications can it handle at a given time and without affecting the performance drastically and so on. And then the next would be the platform libraries. So it includes the, the platform libraries. Okay? includes the various C and C++ core libraries and Java-based libraries such as the media, your graphics, service manager, OpenGL, and so on to support for Android development. So you have your media library, which obviously supports your play and record and video. Okay, um, So audio and video formats, your surface manager, so it, 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 it it's responsible for the display or the output. Uh, and the SGL and OpenGL, okay, both cross-language, cross-platform um, application program interface or APIs that are used for your graphics. So your audio and video, your output, your display, and your graphics. So it's, it's handled by the platform libraries. And um, the last would be the Linux kernel. So the Linux kernel is the heart of the Android architecture. We know this in, in our operating systems, uh, modules and classes. It's the, it's the kernel that's the heart of the operating system. So it manages all the drivers, such as display drivers, camera, Bluetooth, audio drivers, memory drivers, which are required during the runtime. And it handles the core operating system services and activities such as your security, memory management, the process management, the network stack, and the driver model. So these are the um, the core, the actually the building blocks of the operating system. Right. So these are all found in the kernel. That's why as what. Um, I've mentioned in, in the previous slides. So, so from application, where in there is a direct interaction with the user, when you go further away, it's going to be less and less interaction because the, 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 um, the services and the activities that are done by the other layers that are farther from the application would be very very critical and may impact the performance and the stability of the operating system that's why we don't want um, a, a big amount of user um, interaction with this now <clears throat> so that is for the android architecture so let's now go to the ios so let's go to the architecture of the ios operating system so the, the mobile operating system is developed by Apple for different smart devices such as iPhones, iPads, and other mobile devices. Similar to Android, it is layered based. Okay. And the layer between the application and the hardware will help for the communication, while the other lower level will give basic services on which all applications rely and the higher level layers provide graphics and interface related services. So from, um, so imagine you have the layers again, 
So the lower layers will give basic services. Okay, so um, the basic services for for you be to be able to communicate and uh, use the smart uh, smartphone. And when you start to go up of the um, the, the, the layer or the, the, the iOS architecture, you will have more um, more specific and um, um, yeah, more more specific services. So, okay, and usually this 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 can be optional. Like for example, when you talk about um, high res graphics, of course um, it will the, the the smartphone will still work even if you you don't have um, high res um, high res graphics as long as you can see the, 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 the images right so that's um, that's what it means so from the the necessity okay the, the, or the necessary services to okay, the, the more on the um, more on the improvements or um, add-ons <laughs> Okay, so most of the system interfaces come with a special package called a framework. So you associate iOS with frameworks. So when we say a framework, it is a directory that holds the dynamic shared libraries such as A files, header files, images, and helper apps that support the library. Okay, so each layer has a set of frameworks that are helpful for developers. So you have your, um, so in your iOS architecture, so these are the layers. So you have your core OS, uh, core services, your media layer, and Cocoa Touch or the application layer. So there's also an application layer here. So, but let's start from core OS. So when we talk about core OS, so the, the, the iOS sectors are built under the lowest layer, which is the core OS, which include Core Bluetooth Framework, External Accessories, Accelerate Framework, okay, so Security Services, and Local Authorization. So Core OS similar to the kernel, right? And then when you move to the Core Services layer, so you have your important frameworks that are present in the Core Services, which helps the iOS operating system to cure itself and provide better functionality. And it's the second lowest layer in the architecture as shown in the previous slide. So what are these core services? You have your address book, okay, which includes contact details of the user, your cloud kit. If you're going to move your data between the app and the iCloud, you have your core data. Okay, so the technology that's used for managing the data model. Okay, have a model view controller. You have your core foundation which is data management and services uh, service features for ios your location core location okay to determine where where you are you know, based on the location and your heading information your, the motion core motion framework or your uh, all the motion based data motion based data that you have and the foundation framework which is basically object C covering the many of the features found in this framework. So core services. What else? You have your health kit, which handles the health related information, assuming you're using one. And and for some it's for some of the smartphones now it, it's built in. You have your home kit used for talking with and controlling connected devices okay, in your smart home social framework and interface that will access the social media accounts of the user and then your store kit framework which supports buying of contents and services from inside ios apps and then have your media media layer enables all graphics video and audio um, technology of the system so similar to android as well you have the, 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 the 100 media Okay, so all of your um, graphics, video, and audio. And it's important to note that iOS is investing a lot of technology to improve graphics, video, and audio. Okay. So what are your 
media framework. So again, it's all about the framework. So you have your UL kit, okay, which is for designing images. You have your core graphics, which supports 2D vector and image based rendering. And it is a native drawing engine. Your animation, core animation, which is used for animation, experience of the apps in iOS. You have your media player. Okay, so you have your so support in playing your playlist and syncing them to Apple's uh, iTunes library. And then your AV kit. Okay, so this is for audio and video. You have your open AL. So again, for audio, core images, which is four images or motionless images, and then your GL kit which manages advanced 2D and 3D rendering by hardware accelerated interfaces. Okay, so that's the, the media layer. Okay. And the last would be the Cocoa Touch layer. So this is known as the application layer, which acts as an interface for the user to work with the iOS operating system. So this is the topmost. It supports the touch and motion events and other more Feature. So, what are some of the frameworks here? You have your event kit. Okay. So, um, shows a standard system interface using view controllers for viewing and changing events. You have your game kit, which is used for obviously games. Okay. And then your map kit, which gives a scrollable map that one can include in your user interface. And your push kit, which provides registration support. So these are some of the these are the the, the, the layers in the, the iOS um, um, iOS architecture, and in, in in each of the layers there there are frameworks, and the the ones mentioned are some of the the the, the services no? that are running under this framework. But there are there are more. So these are some of the examples. So there. Okay, so that ends our discussion on the Android and iOS uh, architecture. Thank you for listening and uh, we'll see you in the next video.